Hey everyone, in today's Facebook video, I wanted to show you how to set up this Facebook Business Manager to manage your ad accounts and your pages. Now, if you already have done Facebook ads in the past, you might have done it on a personal account. So if you press boost on a post, for example, that will create this ad manager account, which is actually a personal account. It's not a business account. That's where people kind of get confused here. But if you look up here, it says your personal ad account. I already have that and that's what this looks like. The problem is all these different ads run on the same credit card, but they're actually for different companies. So it's a little bit confusing when I try to look for ads that are for a specific company. And these are actually all my own companies, but if you run it for different people, then it becomes really confusing. So the business manager is a must if you have more than one business. Otherwise you can use the personal one, but this video is gonna be focused on the business manager. So let's go ahead and set up a business manager account. By the way, if it's your first time here, I make easy to follow social media videos every single day with over 500 videos on this channel. So please consider subscribing. Let's jump in to business.facebook.com. That's the URL that's gonna take you to this page where you need to create an account. If you already have a Facebook account or a Facebook ad account, don't worry. This is not gonna interfere with that, but you still have to create an account here. And here it's gonna show me my existing businesses. I have three different businesses. They're all listed here, so I could choose which one I'm running the ad on. Right now, all these three get run under this ad account, this personal account. Again, very confusing, so now I wanna create a new one here. Or you could just press create an account. You'll type in your business name and account here, your name and your business email to create a new one. I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll name this one Halfinity, my name and my business email here. Go ahead and type in your business details here and then press submit. Make sure you do choose your country and everything else that's required. Press submit here. And I'll get an email to verify. So I'll go ahead and verify this page first with my email. And once you do that, this is what the business manager looks like. So there's a couple of things you could do here. You could add pages, you could add ad accounts, and you could add people. So if you want other people to manage your Facebook account, this is the way to do it so you don't share your personal accounts. So let's go over here to business settings on top here. Go ahead and click that. And you'll have the same options here that I just showed you. So you have pages where you could add pages, add accounts, and then you could add people later. Let's go ahead and add pages first. I want to add a page to Halfinity here, add a page, and I want to search for that page. Again, I already have a business page, so you gotta make sure you have a business fan page here. That's a different video on how to create one. Hopefully you already have one. Go ahead and select that. If you don't, just make a page. These are very simple to make. Go ahead and add a page. So now it wants to connect it to Instagram. So you could type in your Instagram password if you want to add it all. And the page has been added. You could take the tour here or you could just skip. I'm gonna say not now here and I'm gonna close this page. Now let's say I wanted to add a different page here and create another account for that one. I'm gonna go ahead under pages and go to add. Again, add a page. This one request access to a page. This is if you don't have access to that page. And if you're working for someone else, for example, you'll do that. Or here you could just create a new page right here. But let me go ahead and add a different page here. This time let's add festival here, another business. I'm gonna add that one. And this one is gonna, again, tell me I have an Instagram account. So I have to add the Instagram password for that one. And now that one has been added so I could close it. So as you could see now, I could jump between the two different pages and you can see the people that are associated with each one. This one actually has another admin, so it already has an admin associated to it, but you could add people on these right here. You just press add people, and you could search for people on Facebook here and add them and give them different permissions here. So you could check all these on or off to give them different types of permissions here to your page. So now that we have our pages set up and we've added the people here, we want to create an ad account. This is how you're actually going to run ads with these ad accounts. We don't have one yet. So make sure your pages are set up and the people under those pages are set up, which you could do those here under the ad option. And now let's jump into the ad account. So now on this page, I'm gonna press add to add an ad account and you're gonna have three different options. Add an ad account. This is based on if you already have an ad account ID here. We're not gonna choose that in this case, or you could request one if you're just working for someone else, but we wanna create a new ad account. That's the option here. 
and go ahead and name your ad account. Again, this is gonna be the Halfinity page one. I'm just gonna name it Halfinity. Choose my time and my currency here. So I'm on dollar in Chicago. I'm gonna press next. And it's gonna say, what is this gonna be used for? It's gonna be used for my business here. I'm gonna press create. And now I have to add the people and give it permission. So I only added myself here. So if you have more people, you could just choose who you want. You could choose multiple people. I'm gonna choose myself and I'm gonna let it manage my campaigns, view performances and manage my ad account here. And I'm gonna assign that person. So you have to do this. You could also search here if you have a lot of people here. Go ahead and assign. And now that ad account under that business manager account has been created. So I could close that page. So now if you think of it as a step-by-step -step process, pages, people, ad account, now we need to make a payment here so we could actually pay Facebook for the ads we're gonna run. That's again on this side under the payments tab. Go ahead and press that. And it says you don't have any payments yet. So we need to add a payment. So I'm gonna press add here. And again, billing and currency, you have to choose yours and type in a credit card information here. So I'm gonna type in my credit card and press continue and I'll show you what happens on the next page. Once you do add a card, you're gonna see this page. So you're still under the payments tab and it's gonna ask you to select an ad account and use ad manager to change its primary payment method. So stick with me here, this part gets a little bit confusing. So if you click this here, it's gonna bring you back to this ad account. But now you can't add a payment to that ad account. This is what you have to do. On the top right here, click this arrow and say view payment method. If you press that, it's gonna take you to a different page under payment settings here. And what you wanna do on this page is add a payment method, press that. And now that you have that credit card linked, you could choose payment method from business manager. So that's the payment method I just added instead of typing in a credit card. I'm gonna press continue here. And it's the card right here that I have added to my Halfinity account. I'm gonna press yes, and I'm gonna say make primary payment here. Now that card owned by Halfinity, that business account has been added here to my payment. So now let me go back here to this page. And now if I go under the payments tab, I could see that that ad account has been connected here when I refresh the page. So now let me jump back to the ad account. And now the people are there, the ad account is there and the payment method is there. So the next step is simply going to open ad manager here. If I press that, it's gonna take me over here to my ad manager where I could simply start creating my first ad. As always, I could click this dropdown to jump in between my personal account, that's the account that I used to use for all my ads, for all my businesses, to this new business account where I'm gonna run ad associated to different businesses in a very organized way instead of using that personal account. So at this point, if you've never ran a Facebook ad, this might seem a little bit overwhelming, but let me just show you a quick overview of what you're looking at. In the following video, I wanna show you a complete video on how to create an ad that is very effective for the very first time. But in this video, let's just look at what we're looking at here. So under account overview, you have four tabs over here. This is your overview of your whole account. Again, this is based on the new business management account I made, there's nothing here. There is creative reporting on there that that's gonna show you some really nice graphic once everything is set up. But next to that, you have campaign. This is pretty much where you're gonna start creating a campaign. Under each campaign, you have ad sets, and under each ad set, you have ads. That's the structure of Facebook ads here. So to create a campaign, that's where you wanna start. You would just create ad here or press create here. I'm gonna just press this to show you what the next page looks like. And it will bring you to this page, create a new campaign. So now you could see a different way to view that. So you have campaign on top, ad set on the bottom, and then ads underneath the ad set. So under each one, campaign will be the objective of the ad. So let's say this objective of the ad was to get more views for a Howfinity video. So if I made a how-to video here and I wanted more traffic, that will be where I set the campaign consideration for. And then underneath that, the ad set is gonna tell me Who's your audience? Where do you wanna place it? How much do you wanna spend? How long do you wanna run the ad? That's the ad set, and under the ad itself is the creative of the ad. What's the media? What's the format? What's the text? What's the title? So that's basically the overview of the ads here. So let's say if I was to choose one for traffic, 
it will take me to the next page here if I press continue. So I could name the campaign here, I could press continue. Again, I'm just giving you a brief overview. On the next video, it's gonna show you a complete creation of an ad in real time. So this one is just to show you what's possible here. But once you do create that campaign, it jumps you to the ad set again. Where is the traffic? Is it to a website? Is it to an app? What's your offer? Who's your audience? So much here that is, again, gonna be very overwhelming if you have not done this before, but your budget and schedule. And once you do set that, it's gonna take you to the next page where it's the last box here where you have your ads, where you could decide the format, the media, the links, the text, everything is there. So those are the three pillars of Facebook ad creation. Let me go back here to the ad manager. So I just went back to the homepage here. So once everything is there, you'll see them. Let me just give you an overview on this personal account where I used to make all these ads. So once the campaigns are set, you'll see them all like this. These are all turned off at the time. Under ad set, you'll see all the different ads under those campaigns. And under ads, you will see all the different ads that were delivered and their cost and everything else associated with that here. And you could always go here to the account overview to see the account overview and how much you've spent and things like that. And even press creative reporting here to get more in depth of the ad creative and how well each one did. But this is a really good way and a visual representation of how everything has done on your different campaigns here on Facebook. So again, make sure you check out the next video on how to create a complete ad on Facebook from scratch so you get a better idea. This was more about setting up a business manager account so you're set up on the right foot and everything's gonna be nice and organized moving forward. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily social media videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.